What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We are back here with another video. Now, come on, man. Before you do anything, go to press that like button for your boy. If you're new to my channel, please press the subscribe button. I know at least one of y'all gonna be new to my channel, so press the sub button if you are watching this video and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. A banger. We dropping them all year. I'm telling you. But yeah. But as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we are making Wilt the Still Chamberlain. Now, you can make a replica build of this, but me, I just wanted to make an inside center. Now, you want to make them seven foot, max out wingspan, built shape, body shape, whatever you want to put the body shape on. Me, personally, I did build. You could do slim, whatever you want to. Not for the way I was really deciding on it. For the way, I think I did 246. Now, I'm telling you, as of right now, in the state of this game, this game is a post-scoring game for centers. I'm telling you right now, you cannot stop a center in a post. So, as of right now, you're going to want to make a 7-foot inside build that can do stuff in the post. Now, this wheel build might not be able to do, like, you know, post-hook shots because I didn't upgrade the mid-range when it's built for real for real but if you want to drop stuff and dunk and bully your center in the paint hey by all means i mean hey go for it just the build that you want to make now me you see i went straight to post control so you can get that hall of fame post spin technician that bad is good in this game if you know how to use it properly now as you can see i did put this standing duck at a 90. it could have been higher a few things could have been high on this build now the only thing i did touch on this build for shooting was the free throw and i want that to be a 70. now i did touch the pass accuracy a little bit or more than usual i could have toned it down a little bit but the only reason i really touched it because i really wanted to get hall of fame unpluckable on this build now you can't get the hall of fame unpluckable on this build it says you can but I would have to have more playmaking badges to it because since it's a tier three badge, it only you have to have at least ten badges in all other categories before you can get to tier three. And in order to get the Hall of Fame, you know, unpluggable, you only need eight more badge points. Or you could try to put it as a tier or core badge. I think I'm not sure, but I ain't really dig too deep into that. But as you can see, I did max out the speed, max out the acceleration. Put his stamina at a 90. I put his um, vertical a 74, 75 range so he can at least jump to get a rebound. And I did put his strength up there too. So when that boy set them big body screens, you know, the guard going to get stuck unless his pick dodger is at least silver to gold. Now, if it's gold, sil I mean, gold brick wall versus gold pick dodger, I don't know which one to win that battle. It'll most likely be the brick wall because of his strength. But for the defensive badges, now you see, I was tweaking some things around so he could get Hall of Fame rebound chaser. You're seven foot. You're going to need a Hall of Fame rebound chaser. Don't care what nobody else say. You're seven foot. You're a center. You're going to need Hall of Fame rebound chaser. So that's why I made sure that my defensive rebound was a 99. And you can also get break started on this play if you really know how to use it right. Now, as you can see, I was toning a few things that I toned my mid range down so you know I could put stuff in other categories. Now, you see, I did, I think I pushed up his strength. Yeah, I did push up, I pushed up his strength. So, like I said, man, that center setting them big body Miyagi screens, you know. The guard's not going nowhere. He's not going over the screen unless he tries to play his high over the screen. And that's unless 2K lets him play high over the screen and they allow him to. Now, you see, for my will to still build, you know, the build I really wanted to choose. You know, Will, he could have been in the post, but not really. But, I mean, it's on you, personal purpose. Me, personally, for this takeover, I would, I would give him a post-scoring takeover. Now, I mean, you could use back down Punisher, different ones and all that. But me, I chose back down Punisher because he can't shoot in the post. He can't shoot at all in the post. For real, for real. You can try, but his mid range is low. But I don't recommend trying. And I also chose Paint Intimidation. 
Now, as you can see, that come to the bull, you know, the drum roll, please, blah, 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 blah. And look who it come up to. Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt the Steel. The man, the myth, the legend. The 100-point game legend. And this build is labeled a two-way interior force. So, y'all know what two-way interior force means. That, boy, that, that means that boy do everything. He can play offense. He can play defense. And especially in the paint. But, as you can see, for his badges, I did choose to give him fearless finisher. Hall of Fame post spin technician. I recommend you use Hall of Fame post spin technician because nine times out of ten, the average center is not going to have one post move lockdown. It's an average thing for the average center to not have one post move lockdown. If he does have it, he's probably going to have it on silver because most people do not use post moves in the paint. They'll barely throw their centers the ball. They centers either go up post up, drop step, and in the paint. But you see, I did put his drop step on gold. Now, you can get extra badge one as the seasons go by. So, I mean, you could get an extra badge one and put it somewhere else. Now, if I did do that, I could put my drop stepper on Hall of Fame. Now, if I put my drop stepper on Hall of Fame, that boy would be going crazy in the paint. I'm not going to lie. You could put up 20 unless you know what you're doing. Easily, you could easily put up 20 if you know what you're doing as a center. But if you don't know what you're doing, hey, this build can still get rebounds and everything. You can still throw your ball. I mean, throw the team on a fast break, the ball. I mean, do whatever you want. Now, as you can see, for the playmaker, he does have 11 playmaking badges. Now, I really couldn't do that much as much as I wanted to. Now, I can get vice grip on Hall of Fame. Now, what you do want to do is you do want to put your bail out on bronze for all of your players because all of your players do need bronze bail out. Now, you can see at this point, I did put my vice grip on Hall of Fame, but I did too. I think I did put it on silver or bronze because, I mean, you're going to get ripped sometimes. But break starter, you need that. I'm not going to lie. The way people be missing in this game, if you're a center, you got a Hall of Fame rebound chaser, you catch the ball, you launch it down court, that's an easy, fast break point. Because most likely, if y'all play in the zone, the point guard and the shooting guard, or whoever are the two people playing up top in the 2-3 zone, they're going to be up out of there. I'm not even going to lie to you. So you launch that to them, guess what? They already down the court getting a bucket. It don't matter if it's a three, dunk, mid-range, a bucket is a bucket. It don't matter. Now, as you can see, I did put my core badge on Hall of Fame, which is Hall of Fame rebound chaser for my defensive badges. Now, you can see, you can put Box Out Beast on gold. And like I said, I only get post moves locked down up to silver. And this is an inside build, so if I only get it up to silver. What you think other centers going to do? Most centers in 2K want to shoot. Everybody's looking for a popper this year. It's pick and pop, pick and pop. And if you can't shoot, hey, this will be the build for you if you want to make a center and can't shoot. Hey, this is your bread and butter right here. If you can work in the post, this is your bread and butter right here too. I'm not going to lie to you. You see, I do get brick wall up to go. I will put that on. And I did put on anchor, but so I can block shots at the rim. Because you do need anchor to block shots at the rim. Anchor is the new rim protector, so you will need it. And I did put on bronze interceptor so I can get steals. I was trying to change things around so I could get pogo stick. But as of right now, I cannot get pogo stick until I get six badges. But, yeah, man, you can really throw on any badge you want on this build or as much as you can to your tier. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you are new. Please press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel, man. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We still like a grinder, man, and I'm out, man. Peace.